What's going on YouTube? How y'all doing? So I'm back with another video and in this video I'm doing a blowout taper. I'm doing all my little homie, man. I've been cutting this kid since he was like 12 years old. Now he's 18. You guys seen him grow up the years going on. I've cut him on my Instagram. I've cut him on my YouTube. But with that being said, high taper with a blowout. He had a honey badger, you know, blonde on top. You know, if you have any haircut suggestions for me to do, let me know in the comment section below. I'm I want to help you guys out as much as possible. It's for, you know, the, the students or the kids that are learning how to cut hair. Yeah, I'll get back to you guys. Um, I'm not really the best at explaining things, but I'm trying to do my best for you guys. So, hey, man, let me know. Like I always say, peace and love, baby. So we're going to be using our number one and a half guard on our walls and we're just going to take off the bulk on where the taper area is going to be at. I'm not trying to dig it too hard so as you can see I am flicking out on the spot where I want to flick out to. I'm trying not to like go too high either because I'm going to come in eventually with my clipper over comb and just knock off all the weight but for that we're just flicking out. I'm not trying to make a really hard line. Like I always say this in most of my videos, try not to make hard lines and just try to use your touch to flick out. So now we have our clipper comb and I'm just going to take off most of the weight that's underneath right there. So use that, just kind of create a shape as you go. As you see, I'm just digging underneath the hair and I'm just creating that shape. I'm not trying to like dig in too deep uh, i'm kind of keeping my comb at an angle as you see it's kind of coming together just get underneath the hair you see the hair that's poking out that's stuff that you take out clipper of a comb is kind of like an advanced technique i don't expect most of you guys to like know how to do it um it took me a while to get to, used to it but for the most part it is one of the best techniques especially in fading hair because it saves so much time and also makes shapes uh like i said shapes are like the most important part in like my haircut because like if you don't have like a good shape the haircut in my opinion is not going to come out great because you got to kind of make the shape into like the person's head like what what fits the client's head you know what hairstyle fits the client's head shape and i, I base a lot of my haircuts on that uh some barbers they don't do it they just dig right in but me i, I kind of want to make like I, you know it's your job to make your client feel good so you kind of want to create a shape that fits their head style and their head shape so uh that that's just all about like client you know you got to know your clients and just that's that's another thing of being a great barber too just know what hairstyle fits your client's head but so we're balding out right here. I'm using my balders or my trimmers to make a line. I'm using it. I'm kind of being, I'm measuring it kind of underneath the ear. I'm doing a high taper. So just make sure that's your ball line is straight. It doesn't look that straight right here. In my eyes it did, but I'm just kind of cutting at an angle. So I couldn't really see everything. So we're going to be making our first guy line with our wall magic clips with an open lever we're making our guy line about an inch two and a half an inch it just depends on how you guys want to do it uh, i'm flicking out at the top where i wanted to stop at just make sure that you guys flick out make sure that the guy line is straight and i mean you guys would get it down so to take out that bottom line right there we're going to be having our lever close and what I, what the close is is all the way lever close we're gonna use our corners to knit, to kind of like take out the bottom line. Use the corners a lot. That's why I say in most of my videos, corners. And then once you take out that bottom line, you see it lighting up. You wanna halfway and then open, halfway lever, open lever, and just play with your levers a lot. Use the corners to nick out any dark spots that you see. And uh, just play with it for the most part. Uh, not every hair texture is the same. So you kind of want to dig mo dig more than most, you know, and some haircuts you got to dig more, some haircuts you don't have to. So uh, you just got to figure it out and play with the lever. Of 
for this next step we have our number one guard on our walls and we're going to make another guy line about an inch high fingers width i am flicking out to the top where i want to kind of you know stop at but i'm also kind of shaping it as i go too because uh, i did use a one and a half guard to debulk the hair and then i clipper over combed it and i'm just kind of blending that number one into that one and a half or clipper over comb so we have our zero guard here and i have my lever all the way open i'm just using it all the way open just to see how light it gets it and if i don't like how to do it then i close it up some more so you start off with your open lever if it take if it you know if it makes it any lighter then you just close your levers even more use your lever close halfway open kind of the same steps as i used to take out the bald line you know back when i had the open line but yeah just play with your levers use the corners a lot you want to kind of take out as any dark spots that you can see um just try not to go above that that one uh, that one line that we did before because you don't you're just going to make the blend even higher and higher so just try to use the corners because if you do use the corners you 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 most likely will not make the blend higher because the corners are just gonna take out little bits and pieces if you use the full blade then that's when you make hard lines so i'm just using my one guard right here just to take out any dark spots it's really nothing just kind of detail work and I, I seen a little dark spot so i'm just gonna take it out with my number one guard you can do it if you want to but i usually do it at the end of the cut but i just recorded it to show y'all so for the side taper here we have our balders or liners trimmers whatever you want to call them just to make a ball line so we're doing a high taper so we're kind of taking off the hooks so we're doing the ball line kind of underneath the the temple area or where the vertical bars you know are so just balled out just make sure that the ball line is straight and there you go pretty simple steps we're gonna do the same steps we did on our back taper so we have our number one and a half guard right here i am using a different one and a half guard i couldn't find the other one <laughs> so we're just using that one and a half just to debulk the sides and kind of create a shape by doing it with the one and a half guard just flicking out at the top i'm not trying to dig in too much because i want to keep out that you know that blowout look so when you get to that top just flick out and just blend into it so we have our one open making the guy line about an inch same same steps as before guys just make sure that you use the corners to make the the guideline too because on this part it's a taper so you want to keep it you know in that area so using the corners kind of help so you're closing up that lever just take out that ball line and then we play halfway open halfway just play with it a lot his hair is kind of light right here so it's pretty easy to taper uh some some clients actually most clients their their hair is kind of lighter on like where the taper area is at so it is easier to taper people when it has when they have like light spots because you know it just blends much easier and it's much smoother so now we have our one guard and just doing the same thing as before i am cutting at an angle right by the ear area because his hair is growing in that direction you always want to cut in cut against the direction of where the hair is growing because you get a more smoother cut and it cuts it more evenly than if you do cross grain or you know with grain so one now we have our zero guard. I was about to say one guard. We have our zero guard closing it up, just playing with the lever. We're using the corners right here. As you can see, I'm kind of cutting at that angle because his hair grows in that cross direction. So just close the lever halfway open. Just use the levers a lot and also use the corners too. So we have our clipper comb here and we're just taking out that weight up there i'm trying to keep the weight kind of more of a blowout look so i'm not really digging into it i'm just kind of taking off the hair a little bit right there i am combing his hair back because his hair is kind of flat right there and i want to you know give it that blowout look say when he takes a shower it'll give it more of a because when you take a shower your hair stands up more because of the steam so i'm trying to give it more of that blowout look so by combing the hair backwards it more it flares out and i can see more of the blend and how the hair is going to lay naturally when you take a shower So we have a one and a half and I'm just kind of taking off any of the dark spots that I've seen that I didn't get with my clipper comb. So yeah, just detail work like I did in the back of the table. So just the one and a half just to lighten everything up. 
so i'm putting clips into his hair um, i don't want to cut into any of his long hair at all so we're just clipping up the hair and the hair that is kind of showing that's the hair we're going to take down and line up i had a hard time clipping up his hair because it's straight and it was only a little bit of area so you guys don't have to do this um i do it because i want to kind of give the you know the hairline more of a, a better look so just clipping up the hair is probably the best bet that you can do so yeah i'm taking a long time right here i couldn't find my other clip so <laughs> we are using our wall trimmers let me tell y'all these trimmers are hitters man I think they call like the high vis or something man the wall they sent me these 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 hit man so we're starting from the left and then we're working our way to the right or from this angle from his angles the right to the left but we're going from the left to the right and then i'm just using it I, i'm trying this new technique when i line up because I, sometimes when i feel like i do from the middle it just doesn't connect right so when i go from the left and i'm just following that line throughout the entire head um, it's going to all match correctly. I'm trying not to push him back. His left side is a little bit higher than his right. So I had to push him back just to make sure that his hairline is all evenly. Uh, some people are always going to say, oh, you push him back, you push him back. But if you want a straight hairline, you know, if one side is higher than the other, you're going to have to push it back just to make sure that it is crispy and straight, you know. So, yeah. So what I did after I just got done lining him up, I took him to the shampoo bowl and I, I shampooed his hair so that way his hair could be all nice and fluffy and flared out. So yeah, we're doing the enhancements right here and just follow your, follow your lineup. Just make sure that the enhancements aren't really too dark. You kind of want to make it all evenly. Um, you just want to tap, tap, tap. I don't know if you guys use enhancements, but I feel like that's the way of the barbering is going right now. Enhancements. Uh, his hairline was already straight, but just to give it that extra pop and just for the video, um, just make sure that you guys do it lightly. You don't want it too, too dark. You know, you don't want to give it that, you know, Ray Lewis, you know, hairline. So just follow your natural or your hairline that you did previous to line them up and just make sure that it is all you know one color if you know what i mean by one color color it's just like make sure that it's not too dark on one side and then light on the other so yeah just uh follow your hairline and i feel like you guys can get it down So now to end off the cut, we're gonna use the straight razor to get all the hairs from the hairline just to make it more, 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 more crispy, y'all. But yeah, hey, this video is about wrapped up. I thank you guys so much for watching my YouTube videos. Like I said, I am being more consistent with it, y'all. So man, make sure y'all stay tuned. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And let me know what you guys think at the end of the video of this cut. Put the post notifications on too, man. If you guys want to see daily content or weekly content, however content I post, you know, weekly, daily, whatever it is, man. I do appreciate y'all, man. Like I always say, peace and love, baby.